Hey, good morning everyone. This is June, the professional one for AffiliateBasis.com. And today's question, I'll, I'll, start, I'll start like this, okay? What do you wake up for every day? What do you wake up for every day? All right, take a moment to think about that. And um, before, before I continue, I want to tell you that uh, today's message is probably going to be the most one of the most powerful messages uh, that I've ever delivered and also probably uh, the most powerful message that I'll deliver online this year okay and and the reason why because I think this is a really huge topic and and this topic of you know what do you wake up for it, it really influences many aspects of your life and success and everything else okay uh, you should have some kind of an answer by now but you know what I want to tell you that uh, the most important, uh, I mean, the, okay, the, the reason why you should be waking up every day is not because of a person, an activity, you know, but, or, 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 or a cause, but, you know, the reason why you should really be waking up every day should be rooted based on a feeling, okay? Uh, for example, I wake up to be happy, all right? The reason why you wake up for can influence a lot of things. Uh, a lot of people are saying, okay, why, why, what makes me say I wake up to be happy? Why, why, why don't I say, oh, I wake up for the kids because I have two kids. I wake up because of my spouse. I wake up because of work. I wake up because I want to be rich. You know, uh, or I, I, or I know a lot of people on my list are affiliate marketers. And then they'll be saying, oh, I wake up because I want to check up, I want to check how much money I made overnight, right? Uh, I mean, these are all valid reasons, but the thing is that these are all activities. And I want to give you some very what-if scenarios, okay? I don't mean to be pessimistic here, but I want to give you some what-if scenarios. If you wake up for the kids, uh, what's going to happen, let's say, if, if you're in a world war, Okay, if you're in a world war and then a bomb blasts, you're the only one that survives. If, you're, if, you're ha if you wake up because of your kids every day and suddenly your family is taken away from you in seconds, is that going to make you one of those people who wants to so-called join them in heaven? Is it a, is it a bigger sin for you to, uh, you know, to, take up, to take your own life versus... Um, not being a sin, trying to basically live out the life that you can, right? And in that, in that context, if you live for happiness and your means of happiness is to see your family happy, that's, that's a totally different thing, right? If you're, if, but the, th the important point is that if you live to be happy, a lot of things can be aspects that make you happy, such as seeing your family well. So that way, your life doesn't go down the drain. Uh, do you watch the movie uh, Spartacus or the TV series? Uh, Spartacus is about a bunch of uh, Rome, uh, Roman slaves who, who get into like a, a ring fight, right? And then uh, a, lot of these, a lot of these slaves who train hard, uh, the ones that die are the ones who live to see their, 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 their spouse or their, their kid. Uh, when their spouse or their kid is, is, is killed en route, you know, they start going berserk, they go kamikaze, they, they try to do all kinds of stupid stuff and they get killed. But those, who, but those who see it throughout, like Spartacus himself, what does he live for? Freedom. He lives for freedom. And uh, I want to give you another thing as well. Okay? I, I should have said this early on. Uh, it's a little bit scatterbrained because there's so many ideas come up because of this topic. Like, why... Like... <clears throat> Okay, when you say that you live for a person or an activity, you are basically obligating yourself. You are putting your life into slavery. You're putting your life into commitment. You're putting yourself into debt. Okay, and <clears throat> the, the people that have the hardest lives are the ones who live because they want to live for their kids. They want to live for their mom. They want to live for their dad who is, you know, like, like lying sick in hospital or their grandma uh, who needs leg surgery or they're, 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 uh, they're living for their, their you know, um, like their, their, their partner who has 
cancer, you know, and and what happens in this case is that um, they are day to day, they wake with worry, they wake with um, a lot of commitment, and when they cannot live up to these pressures, you know, it becomes a huge stress. And do you think the people that they really want to benefit, or do you think if any of you has lived for someone else, do you really think that the people that you live for want to see you unhappy, stressed, and frustrated? And if they really needed your help in this life, would you even be able to help them in that state? And would they even would, would they probably feel bad for causing you to be in this state? Think about that. And let's say, okay, let's put it another way. All right, if you live to feel, okay, there's a, there's a big difference to uh, live to be rich and to live to feel rich. Because feel, feeling rich can also, uh, what, is, what is feeling rich about? Being able to spend, and what does being able to spend, uh, what does make, being able to spend make you feel like? Happy? Elated? Egoistical? It could be a lot of things. But I think for most people, and I realized this just this morning, that's why I wanted to share with you, is that live to be happy. All right? Many things can change in this life. But as long as you live to be happy, you will get the most reward out of this lifetime. So, once again, why do you wake up today for? your answer and as well as your second answer. Type them in the comments below. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video. And you know, if you have any other feedbacks on this video, if, you've helped, if it's helped you out, if it's helped you see something in a different light, express it below, all right? So be happy, make the fullest of your life, and do everything based on happiness. This is Junie Wong from Professional Bum from AffiliateVastus.com signing out.